Hello guys, welcome to another video of Multi Universal Productions. Today we're going to show you how to install Wing 101. So to install it, just search up Wing 101 in your Chrome or uh, Microsoft Edge browser. And then go on to the official Wing website. Here we're going to install the Windows version of Wing IDE. But you see, you can see that you can also install other versions such as the Mac OS X or the Linux version. Uh, you can also go to older versions to install other versions of the IDE. So click the installation button and wait for it to completely download. Once the patch is completely downloaded, you can launch it and it'll show up as a wizard. Then just click next and uh, agree with the license. You can browse whatever folder you want to install your IDE in and then continue on with the wizard. This window will show you that it will create an application in your start menu. So if you go to your start menu, the wing IDE should show up there. And then just continue on with the wizard again and then click install this process might take a while after it's finished installing just click finish and the application should appear in your start menu and then you can just run it from your windows file explorer launch the app by going into the bin folder of wherever you installed it and then click the application you will reach an interface similar to this one and in the bottom right corner there is a feature called python shell in which it is an interpreter and you can just type in your code and the results will immediately appear. Here we're just going to show you how you can test if the installation was completely right. So you can start a new file and here we're just going to make a very simple code. It, all it does is just print hello world but this is a more formal definition of it. And there are two ways we can run it. First you can go to debug and then you can press the run f debug file button that runs it in the debug window and it also prompts you to save your file somewhere or there's another option just press the green play button and it will run in python shell thank you for watching our video if you liked it then like it if you didn't like it then dislike it and please leave a comment down below for what we should improve on next time thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next episode of programming